Sternberg, 1966, was the first to report the effect of target set size on reaction time. Sternberg, 1966, used target depth of sizes 1, 2, or 4. In this case, we can see that we have the special case of Sternberg, 66, and Sternberg, 6060s of the same paper repeated twice in one paragraph. If you do that in one paragraph and the author is not inside the parentheses, he's outside the parentheses, then you do not need to repeat. So here we have Sternberg 66, and here we just say Sternberg, but we can skip the date because of this special case of we already have the name, we already have the date, and it's parentheses just on the date, on the year. Garcia and Cooling, 1966, demonstrated that rats could learn aversions to specific flavors with minimal training. To do so, Garcia et al. exposed rats to noxious radiation shortly after they drank water with a distinctive flavor. So in this case, we have Garcia and Fooling, 1966, two authors. One, two, first author, second author. Here we use A-N-D, right, because it's outside the parentheses. We do not use the ampersand. We only use that inside the parentheses. And then we see here the second time we use it, we do not have the date. Why do we not have the date? Because we don't need to have the date inside the same paragraph if the names are outside the parentheses. So that's okay, that's good. And here we use the A-N-D. You do not use at all if it's just two authors. At all is for three or more authors. Here we have three authors, one, two, three. We use A-N-D which is good. We do not use ampersand because it's outside the parentheses. Here we have the year inside the parentheses. Very good. Then a little bit later we have two other authors, different paper, and the year here. That's good. Then we repeat con et al. This is the same as the person up here. And we have one, two, three or more authors, so we can use et al. is very good. No problem. And guess what? We don't have a date. Where's our date? Which should be 1974. But we don't need a date here because it's a special rule of we're inside the same paragraph and the names were already outside of the parentheses. So we do not need to repeat that date. So well, this one is correct as is. No change. That was a trick question. Diaz, Guerrero, Rise, Languins, Witz, Holtzman, lots of names here. And then we have a parenthesis, and then we'll repeat the names here. Diaz, Guerrero et al., 1976. Investigate the effects of TV on a different culture. And then Diaz, Guerrero, Rise, Witz, Holtzman, use an experimental design. Okay, so what we have here is very clearly easy to see this mistake, right? We don't need to repeat this name. We just need the date. Here are the names of the authors. One, two, three, four authors. We don't need to repeat them. So we just have the year. And then later on, here we have Diaz, Goro, Rise, Langas. We repeat them again when we should be using at all. So to write this correctly, you can see here, very simple. Just the date, and then here are all the names. Good. The last name uses A and D with a comma there. No problem. And then later, when we repeat, we just use the first name with at all. And also, we do not use 1976. No date there because we already have this in the same paragraph. Best, Williams, Cloud, Davis, Robertson, Edwards, Guile, and Fowles, 1977, found similar gender stereotypes among boys and girls in the United States. Wow, that's a lot of authors, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it looks good so far that we have a comma and and, A and D here. That's good. We have the year here. But what's the problem? We are too many. Remember we said that for three or more, you can use et al. But the first time you must use the actual number. However, if it's 
so many here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we don't do that. I think it was seven, isn't it? Seven or more. We go ahead and use at all the very first time, and that's what we've done here. Even though it's the first time, we use at all.